Hey guys and welcome back to another video here on this channel. Today I'm here on a lake to photograph but before I will tell you some other things um, I will show you my first subject I will photograph today. So here's my camera and can you see this flower here and there's sitting a butterfly on top so check out this. Oh my god these photos are amazing. So it was coincidence because I just wanted to walk around one time um, to check out the lake and the location and then I found this butterfly and these photos are quite really amazing. As I said, um, I'm here on a lake, as you can see in the background. And when I decided to come here, um, I thought, yeah, I will try to photograph dragonflies. Um, maybe I can photograph them in, the, in flight. But now I just recognized that here are lots of butterflies and lots of butterfly species I never saw before. And that's really great. And of course, I will photograph them too. Um, so when they're here, I will photograph them. But I also saw some dragonflies, um, and there's sitting one in front of me. Um, but yeah, I will just check out this location here at first, um, because yeah, I'm here the first time, and I will just look for some good spots and for some animals I can photograph. Guys, here are frogs, and they're quite really loud. Can you hear them? <laughs> That's funny. But I will don't photograph them today because I will photograph the, the insects. Okay guys, on this point my microphone didn't work. I have no idea why, but here. I just told you that I switched my tele lens to the 50mm lens um, because with the 50mm lens I can go much more closer to the insects. And yeah, I don't know why my microphone didn't work, but yeah, I can't change it now. Here are a lot, cam uh, here are a lot tracking flies, that's not a problem. But they're sitting in the in the grass and then it's really hard to find. And my trick is to look for flying dragon, dragon flies and then I follow them until they are sitting down and then I um, know where they are. Um, and another thing is the focus because it's quite a bit windy today and the branches are moving a bit, so the grasses are moving a bit and it's quite impossible to focus and take only one single photo and because of this I decided to, to focus randomly, I say randomly now, and then I press the button down and make 8, eight um, photos per second and move the cam camera a bit um, back or yes until the subject I photograph so in this case the the dragon flies are in focus and um, I don't know if you can follow me and if you can imagine what I what I mean but maybe I can show you this now just imagine that this is a, a dragonfly um, but I cannot manage to um, do this recording here for you um, with a dragonfly because I'm way too slow then so yeah, what I'm doing now is to go to um, focus, 
something like that. Now it's focused and then I go a bit back because I cannot hold this and then I make a lot of photos and during I to take the photos I go a bit um, closer to the to the subject and then it's one photo is often um, focused and that's a good way to do this and with this strategy it's quite possible to focus um, when the the um, subjects are moving a bit because otherwise it's impossible. So if I try to focus now and this branch is a bit moving then yeah I cannot focus really good and uh, the dragonfly's um, eyes are not that big so it's only a, a really small sharpness layer and yeah, there it's impossible to focus. I have a bonus tip for you. Check out my Instagram account. There's some great photos. The link is in the description. Oh guys, that makes so much fun to be here and photograph the dragon flies. Um, so yeah, the light is quite really nice at the moment and here's so much dragon flies so I actually don't have to look a long time for them and that's amazing. And I think the photos are quite really really good um, so I didn't expect it. And yeah, I'm really happy right now. Okay, I think I go back home now um, because I have to cycle with my bike um, about an half an hour and the sun is setting in, I don't know, 10 minutes or something like that. And yeah, I think I took some amazing photos. Um, I don't know, what do you think um, about my photos I took today and do you have any tips on um, how I can do it better? Uh, or do you have some experiences with photographing the dragonflies so write this down in the comments um, so yeah I'm looking forward to what you're writing there um, so yeah it would be nice if you subscribe my channel activate the clock so you will don't miss my new videos and if you will see um, how I did some macro photography in the forest check out this video here and yeah have a great week and see you out there bye <laughs>